the first thing is, I think you need to ground it in what your business objective is. Broad awareness is probably a, a critical objective. Uh, TV is going to do that. If you look across a path to purchase, you're probably going to want to be able to uh, get more isolated at the retail or the online environment and drive that investment so that not only you create awareness, but intent and perhaps loyalty. What we're doing for clients in the Indian market is we believe there's significant waste that's currently happening in the TV. What we use is an optimizer tool called Fusion. It takes not only TV but online data, fuses it to get us, and what it does is it tells us how to more effectively drive reach. Um, if you can do that, you can certainly find what we're seeing between 10 and 15 percent savings uh, right off the top, and we invest that back into another vehicle, again, against a business KPI, whether it's to convert people at the point of sale, or whether it's to drive loyalty, or drive greater awareness by using a different vehicle that's more targeted there. I think the second challenge then is content. Uh, in addition to figuring out where your dollars are going to be invested, you have to figure out your content strategy that goes across all those channels. Um, and you really need to be smart about that because the optimal is being more efficient and also more effective with that. So you're not only creating it faster, more cheaply, more liquid, but you're also partnering to get it from a lot of your publishers and a lot of your new data partners. I think, again, I would answer that by going back to what's the business strategy? What's the brand trying to achieve? Uh, what's going on in the category? Once you've identified what you're trying to do, then I think you need to build a content strategy that's going to be able to do that. We use a planning approach called experience planning. It starts with how we define the audience, how we design the communication program, through that consumer journey or path to purchase, and then ultimately how we deliver that. And in that journey, you have to figure out what's the role of each piece of content, where it's sourced, how long it's going to run, and then be able to put together and connect the dots in new ways. That's a much more effective planning process than kind of the set and deliver, matching luggage approach that still takes place in a lot of markets. Uh, overall, ad spend seems to be incremental. So the dollars are going to go up, and that's going to be driven by uh, more supply, uh, greater demand as consumer experiences shift and change. It's going to be driven by new players coming to the marketplace with uh, redesigned offerings and innovative offerings in the marketplace. Uh, TV will still have a primary role to play, but we're seeing the social amplification effects, for example, in terms of how uh, tentpole events on TV are then social. You can take the uh, Red Bull example where the guy jumped out of a spaceship, take the Ellen DeGeneres selfie we did for him on uh, Samsung. Uh, there's plenty of examples, so we see that high impact. The Super Bowl is a great one. That's why a lot of money is drifting into entertainment, uh, sports, live action events. So programmatic across markets is really a supply and demand issue. And what's created the opportunity for programmatic is in some markets the supply is so infinite. I started with display, it'll be video, it'll be mobile, but when you have that much supply, um, it's easy to take audiences over on the demand side and match them up and serve that ad. There's some, there's some issues in that in terms of uh, what's the quality of that inventory, what's the verification process. As you probably read, there's been a lot of um, a lot of uh, piracy, if you will, in terms of false reporting and things like that. So, um, what we do with our product is we try and uh, a work with the publishers to get premium inventory, the right inventory for right, uh, make it accessible at scale using programmatic, and also verify that in terms of viewability, uh, making sure that we're actually reaching real people. And you do that again if you come back to the KPIs for the business objective. So if you're spending that money, you should see a return. If you're not seeing that return, you stop spending that money. So programmatic allows you to both see the efficiency and the effectiveness of it, and that's how you know it's working.